Cruise ships are amazing pieces of technology, tourism, and hospitality. You've got to admit that cruise ships are truly awe-inspiring. From their size to how many people embark on them each year, cruise ships are serious modern marvels. And operating these ships, well, is no easy task. And today, I wanted to share 15 things you didn't know about Royal Caribbean's cruise ships up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and no matter how seasoned a cruise passenger you are, there are definitely a few things going on behind the scenes that you just don't know about. Royal Caribbean is a major cruise line with so many cruise ships, and any company that has been in operation for over 50 years certainly has its own share of tricks and little-known facts under its sleeve. So I thought it'd be fun today to look at some truly fun facts about Royal Caribbean. Let's start with number one. The largest cruise ship is twice the length of the Washington Monument. The world's largest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas, is composed of 18 decks and comes complete with 2,759 staterooms, 22 dining venues, 24 swimming pools, and a park with more than 20,700 plants. It also has robotic bartenders, a ninth floor zip line, an ice skating rink, and a 92 foot tall slide in the ultimate abyss. Now, when the ship debuted, which was in 2018, it was about 1,188 feet long, which is almost the length of four football fields or twice the length of the Washington Monument. Number two, some cruise ships have virtual balconies. If you've ever gone on a cruise ship, you understand what a bummer it is sometimes if you're in an inside room because inside rooms have no views, of course. That's why Royal Caribbean came up with the idea of virtual balconies that transmit real-time, high-definition images from outside these ships. These images are in real time and allow you to have a view even though you have no natural view as a nice little upgrade from a traditional inside room. Next up, the average cruise ship sails the equivalent of three times around the world each year. Every year, the average commercial cruise ship covers some 84,000 miles or 73,000 nautical miles for all you sailing experts out there. That means you could travel around the world about three and a half times or get more than a third of the way to the moon. The number four thing you might not have known about Royal Caribbean is cruise ships travel at an average speed of about 20 knots. That's the equivalent of about 23 miles per hour. And of course, a ship's speed depends on a variety of factors from the capabilities of its engines to the conditions at sea. Next up, did you know that crew members have a secret set of code words? Yeah, just like the military truckers and airline pilots, cruise ship passengers have their own code words to quickly inform them of what's going on without necessarily alarming guests. Over the ship's PA system, you may hear things like Alpha, 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 which means a medical emergency, Bravo, 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 which is a fire, Oscar, 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 which means someone is overboard, Echo, which means a ship is starting to actually drift from the dock, or Kilo, which means reports emergency posts in the case of an evacuation. The number six thing you might not know about Royal Caribbean is that Royal Caribbean assists islands after natural disasters. Royal Caribbean has always been supportive of the ports that they happen to visit, especially when disaster strikes. The most recent example of this is after the devastation wrought by Hurricane Dorian on the Abaco Islands in Grand Bahama, Royal Caribbean set out to do everything possible for its neighbors in partnership with the Bohemian government and, of course, all their local organizations. Five cruise ships, Empress of the Seas, Majesty of the Seas, Mariner of the Seas, Navigator of the Seas, and Symphony of the Seas brought much-needed bottles of water, medical supplies, generators, and 162,000 fresh meals, and they even sent barges with valuable necessities for a temporary field kitchen on Grand Bahama. Speaking of good things, Royal Caribbean's cruise ships do often perform rescue missions. Don't be surprised if your cruise ship stops to help a few fishermen in need. Sometimes the ship will receive a distress call and plot a course to help complete the rescue. Other times, it simply happens to come across stranded sailors. But don't worry about having to participate. The ship's crew is highly trained in these types of situations, and they get the people off to where they need to be in terms of getting support from the local government. Next up, yep, there's a morgue on your cruise ship. While death at sea might be a little bit too taboo to talk about, given, of course, the advanced age of many cruisers and the sheer number of people who sail each year, which are, of course, tens of millions, there's bound to be a small number of passengers who die at sea, and they're almost always from natural causes. Facilities are generally located on the lowest ship decks away from passengers and are as simple as a stainless steel refrigeration room with individual compartments. Typically, the larger the ship, the more shelves the morgue will have. Along that note, our next thing you might not have known is there are also jails on board. Passengers behaving badly are not tolerated by Royal Caribbean, and there is a brig where the ship's security could keep someone until they can be safely disembarked at the next port of call. The number 10 thing you might not know about Royal Caribbean is they offer AA meetings. 
Royal Caribbean offers Alcoholics Anonymous meetings on board their ships, which are labeled as Friends of Bill W. in the daily schedule. So why Bill W.? William Wilson founded AA, hence the name. Next up, Royal Caribbean owns a trademark on Of The Seas. Royal Caribbean owns the trademark on quite a number of phrases and logos, but you might not have known that it owns the trademark on the phrase Of The Seas. All of its cruise ships currently follow a naming pattern where the ship's name is followed by the phrase of the seas, Oasis of the Seas, Harmony of the Seas, Mariner of the Seas, etc. Interestingly, Royal Caribbean registered in November 2014 the phrase of the seas to presumably guard against any other company trying to hone in on that pattern. Next, did you know that Royal Caribbean's headquarters looks like its logo? Royal Caribbean's corporate offices and headquarters are located in Miami, Florida, and if viewed from the sky, the building actually is designed to look like the Crown and Anchor logo. The Cruise Line's headquarters is cleverly designed as a three-dimensional version of its Crown and Anchor logo. Number 13, Vision of the Seas wasn't the first Vision class ship. Usually, the first ship of its class is also the namesake of that class. Oasis of the Seas is the first ship in the Oasis class. Freedom of the Seas is the first Freedom class ship. And Quantum of the Seas is the first Quantum class ship. But the Vision class ships are actually the opposite of that. Vision of the Seas was the last Vision class ship built in its original grouping. Part of that reason is, technically speaking, the Vision class consists of three pairs of sister ships and is not a class of ships like the other Royal Caribbean groupings. Number 14, three Royal Caribbean cruise ships have been cut in half. Yeah, seriously, did you know that three Royal Caribbean ships were actually cut in half and separated at one point? In an effort to add more options and activities on board, Royal Caribbean cut three of the ships in half and then added a new section between and then welded it back together. The three ships, Song of Norway, Nordic Prince, and Enchantment of the Seas. The practice fell out of favor because it's quite an expensive process to follow and revitalizations, amplifications, refurbishments, whatever you want to call it, are far more cost effective. And the last thing you might not know about Royal Caribbean is Enchantment of the Seas was supposed to get a hinge put onto the bow. Back in 2004, Royal Caribbean announced plans to have Enchantment of the Seas and Grandeur of the Seas fitted with a hinged bow, like many European ferries have, to allow the ship to pass through the Panama Canal. The plan was for Enchantment's bow to be hinged so they could fold up during the Panama Canal transits. Obviously, this never happened, primarily because Royal Caribbean had no plans for Enchantment of the Seas to actually pass through the Panama Canal, and the hinge project was put on hold. So there you have it, 15 things you might not have known about Royal Caribbean, and a lot of these are actually applicable to other cruise lines as well. But cruise ships in general, hope you found this interesting, kind of fun look at the world of cruising, and maybe give you a better appreciation for the next time you happen to be going on a cruise, which I hope is really, really soon. Let me know in the comments which of these surprised you the most, and if there are any other fun facts you're aware of, certainly I think there's an opportunity maybe to do another video about more fun Royal Caribbean facts you might not have known about. While you're below this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and turn on your notifications. That's that little bell icon that will let you know as soon as we have a brand new video to share. Promise, no spam included. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.